When creating your assignments, you might want to actually embed the video or embed a slideshow so you don't have students having to click a link to the presentation, but they can actually see the presentation or see a video directly into your assignment. So I'm going to go back into the assignment that we created and I'm going to click on edit to get in. And I have the link to the presentation here. But if I want to place the actual presentation in here, there are two ways to do this. The first way is you have a Google Apps icon right here. And that's a way that you can link your Google account and then just put the presentation right there and say embed. It's super easy to use. However, I do not recommend that you use it because in order for people to view it, they have to link their Google account to Canvas. Your students will already have done that because they use it in their classrooms. However, parents who are viewing this course and might want to see the college presentation that you're giving, they will not be able to view it unless they connect their Google account. Not all of our parents have Google accounts and not all of them, most of them are not going to want to connect their Google account to their parent Canvas account. And for parents who are just using the app, they don't have that option. So in order for everyone, parents and students, to be able to see your embedded slideshow, the best way to do that is to go to your slideshow itself and go to the file menu over on the top left of your screen. And then from here, you are going to choose publish to the web. You're going to click embed and we're going to get embed code to be able to embed our slideshow. I find that it works best to have small instead of medium size. And then you click the yellow publish button. A pop up will occur asking if you are sure that you want to publish it. So click the blue OK. Now you have this embed code that you're going to copy control C on a PC or command C on a Mac. And you're going to go back to your Canvas assignment. Now in Canvas right now, we're in like the rich text editor box right here. If you notice up on the top right, there's an HTML editor. What the HTML editor does is once you click on it, it turns your page into the HTML code. And it looks scary, but really all you need to do is go to the end, press return to go to the next blank space, and you're going to paste control V or command V on a Mac. And then you're just going to go back over to the right where it now says rich content editor. And you will see that your slides are embedded. I have a bunch of extra spaces right here, so I'm just going to delete them. And I have my slideshow right here that's clickable and it could be opened on full screen. So that's one way that you can embed slideshows. Let's say that you had a video. You can go over to um, let's say you created a screencast. Here's a screencast that I made in using Loom.pro. And once I've created it, I can copy the link. But again, that's just a link I could paste into my canvas, but people have to click on it and open it up. So I am going to change that. I'm going to do it a little differently. Down at the bottom underneath my video, there's this that says share. If I click on share, it gives me a place to do embed code. And I'm going to choose responsive because it will grow or shrink based on the size of the page or the screen that the people is looking on. And I get the copy, the code. I go back into Canvas. It's HTML. So I'm going to go to HTML editor. I'm going to go to the bottom and press space or enter and paste and go back to the rich content editor. And now you can see I have my video embedded here. You can also easily add YouTube videos. So if I go up to YouTube, I have a video showing you how to make a screencast using Loom. I click on the share button down at the bottom underneath the video. And I copy the link and I go back to Canvas. And I'm going to put my cursor at the end and press enter. Oh, it's not totally at the end, but where did it go? OK. So I'm going to put it here in this empty space. If I paste that link and then I press return, watch what happens. 
it changed it to this, which we saw earlier when we were making our homepage. It says this link will be replaced with an embedded YouTube video. So it will eventually become a video. Um, I prefer to make all of my videos that I create. Let's say I create a screencast in Loom. I actually prefer to put them into YouTube first. And the reason for that is you might have students with, um, with hearing or auditory issues and they have a hard time hearing the screen, um, hearing videos. And I like to have closed captioning. And if you create a video directly in Canvas using the media tool that you saw earlier, or if you create a video using Loom as a screencast, there is no closed captioning available for your students. However, what you can do is if you take your Loom screencast and click on this icon right here, this is the download icon. I can download this to my computer and then I can go to YouTube. And in YouTube, if you click on um, the little camera right here, this will allow you to upload your video into YouTube. And it doesn't happen automatically, but maybe in a few hours or in a day or two, you will notice that your videos have this CC link, the closed captioning. And what it does is it automatically generates closed captioning for you. And so when I put this video into my canvas from my YouTube, it will have closed captioning for my students. So it helps with accessibility. So easiest, best way to add things is just, you know, you could do a you could do a loom screencast and add in the video. You could do a video here, record and upload media. That's the easiest. But if you want to really think about accessibility, try and put all of your stuff into YouTube first so that it has those closed captioning, which aren't perfect, but they're better than having no closed captioning available at all. So I'm going to press save to save my assignment. And you can see that it has the different things that I just placed embedded within the assignment so it's easier for students to view. This um, YouTube video right here on how to screencast on Loom works the same way as the media video that we did on our homepage where if you click on it, it opens it up bigger and I can open it up to, to full screen. I can open it up to full screen down at the bottom. So that is how you can add or embed slideshows or videos into your Canvas assignments. And it doesn't work just in assignments. It works in announcements. It works on pages. Wherever you see that rich text editor, which is pretty much everywhere on Canvas, you'll have all of these options.